it's easy to follow a track like this. This is how I envisioned tracking when I started. Life isn't always that easy. What does a tracker do when their deer walks down a well-used deer trail? And my buck is on that track somewhere. He's coming right here by me. There's his last step. No. So, he has to come off of it somewhere, so I don't have to really watch for him so close when he's on it. I just have to see where he comes off of it. So that's what I'll be looking for. I won't walk over the track. I'll stay off on the side. And I'll just keep moving along and see if I can pick up where he left. Okay, I went about 150 yards on that cow path. And as I said, you don't have to worry so much if he's on it. It's just watch where he comes off it. Once in a while you'll see a track. Like for instance, I know I don't know if this is going to show up real well, but this is him right here. And this is him right here. And here. But this is where I actually found him. Right here, where he stepped off. See? Here's the trail. Where he stepped off. Next step, next step. Unfortunately, it looks like he's going to loop right back around and go right back on the trail again. But, that's the idea. You don't have to worry about him when he's on a trail. You just have to watch where he comes off. Otherwise, you you just can't keep up. You can't deer walk on top of his tracks and everything gets erased. So, keep after him. Hopefully I'll get a chance before dark. Okay, once again, trying to sort him off the trail. Just excuse my reach here. But there's this track right there. And then there's this track. And again, I'm not watching him for him on the trail. It's where he came off, and I almost missed it. But he stepped right here. And then right there. And then right there. And then right there. So, now hopefully I got him off of that main run. It'll be a little easier and I can make up some time on them. <laughs>